Hello. <clears throat> We're at uh, Pilgrim Haven Natural Area, and we are in the parking lot. And it's a nice parking lot, not huge, but bigger than most. And it does have men's and women's rooms, and it is uh, looks like it's kind of like a year-round facility over there. And then there's a walk, and they've got it paved almost all the way to the beach. So first thing we'll do, I'll use the restroom. The second thing we'll do is hit the beach. But we're at the beach, and uh, we were wondering if anybody might be down here today, possibly collecting stones. There's a five gallon bucket, and a big old backpack and a wagon. Here's a couple heavy bags. There are just a ton of people scouring the beach in Pilgrim Haven. Nice rocks. Some beautiful, uh, beautiful porphyry in here. That's beautiful stuff. Now that's, I think, um, feldspar in this basalt. So that's nice. That could be slag, but I think that's epidote. Hmm. And this is a beautiful piece of unakite. Some green epidote and pink feldspar. That's pretty nice. So I'm glad to see this. No, what is? Oh, I see what you see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful rock. Oh, big vein of uh, epidote running through it. The feldspar veins, the red ones, and just the salt. So it's just a standard rock from Lake Michigan, but that's nice. Oh, check this out. Yeah, it's kick ass. Those are some beautiful colors and patterns in that. It's just, I think this might be referred to as a brachiated quartz. It's just granite, but very nice. Oh, here's a nice piece of porphyry. Oh, look at that. That's got a great side to it. That is beautiful. A little, little muddy in there, but that, that's a beautiful piece of porphyry. Wow. Very nice. I found a piece of epidote. Nice bright green. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's what I like to find. Bright green epidote. It's gonna make a nice tabletop again. All right, I think I see some stuff down here. Oh, let's see. I think, is that that Johnsonville sandstone? Not sure what that is. It might be feldspar with epidote in it. Could be unikite, it looks like it's what do they call it? Vesicular? I'm not sure. But what else did I see down here? Um, a beautiful piece of purple, possibly um, jasper. Not sure what that is, but I think that might be jasper. Real rich. Then I saw, well, let's see what else is out here. Well, I saw this beautiful piece of porphyry over here. And here it is. Bigger than I'd want to take home, but that's that's beautiful stuff. That's just basalt with some florets of um, quartz and epidote in it. Looks like a star. I know. That's cool. It's a nice rock. I love porphyry, but I like it small. It is a nice rock. Hmm. I think that's just conglomo. Could even be slag. Hmm. Yeah. Nice piece of green slag here. Oh, yeah. A lot of that. Yeah, there's a lot here. A lot of cement, too, we found out. 
All right, Linda has found a lightning stone. And of course, we're south of um, Pier Cove, which is really renowned for uh, lightning stone. They just got a ton of it at Pier Cove. But this is a very typical piece of lightning stone. This is, well, we're at um, Pilgrim Haven. So nice piece. All right, I think I found some favosite. I'm not sure. I'm gonna get it wet. Getting it wet is gonna help identify, you know, at least bring out some of the patterns in it. Oh, cool. Check that out. It's got like a lot of stuff in it. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try and polish this up and see what comes of it. That's interesting, I like it. Great fossil. Actually runs out into water. Oh, look at this! Them's just racing stripes. <laughs> That's just beautiful. It's just porphyry, but very pretty. That is somewhat slim pickings here today, and the reason being is the White River. Rock Club is here, and that's many of the uh, folks you see on the beach are part of that. They're up north uh, from the area of White Hall in Montague, Michigan. So they've come down here to pillage our shores, <laughs> and we've had second pick pickings here. Um, but I could tell you, this beach is loaded, and it's just just down the um, shoreline from where we just were in Van Buren. So look at our video of Van Buren State Park because it's very similar to there here and we were very successful there. So here, it's been a little bit picked over today, but um, it's all similar and there's usually a ton of great fossils here. So, yeah, enjoy. Well, this looks like a little piece of pudding stone. That's a nice little piece of pudding stone. Jasper and quartz. And then I found this green, beautiful, beautiful green. I'm not sure what that is, but that's very, very nice. Bright green. All right, I think I spotted some unikite and a big piece of uh, feldspar out in the water. But the unikite's just sitting right here. That's a beautiful piece of unikite. See the green, that's epidote. The red is feldspar. That's unusual. I like this one. It's kind of mottled. So that's a that's a keeper. Let's see. And this one. That I think is just feldspar with a lot of biotite and a piece of quartz on top. But I like the spotted stuff like this. I don't know why I like it. Looks good in a jar, I guess. But I'm gonna get that big piece of feldspar out of the water. Let's take a look at that. Wow. It's got quartz in it, it's a piece of granite, but mostly feldspar. So that's a very nice red rock. Uh, very, very typical out here too. So you're, you're gonna find this all over the place. I think I see a piece of banded shirt down here. That's always fun to find, it looks good in the garden. It's got a lot of history in it, but then it's very typical to find banded shirt all over these beaches, all, all Michigan beaches. I see a big, big piece of epidote. Oh, it's got a little feldspar in it. Holy mackerel, not much feldspar, mostly green epidote. But look, you can see there's, there's pink under it all. It's like a big piece of unikite. I'd love to cut that in half. Maybe I'll take that home and cut that in half. Find anything? Yeah, I found a little uh, piece of epidote. Just a pebble. But look how bright it is. It's just so beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. That's a bright green piece of rock. Mineral, actually. Epidote. Love to find it. 
think this side of the beach has been a little less ravaged <laughs> by, by the White River Rock Club. They're here today. <laughs> so we're getting what's left, but it's still great. It's always worth kind of taking down to the uh, water to get wet. Look at that rock. It's a beautiful piece of unakite. That's feldspar, which is red, and, un and epidote, which is green. So there you go. A very nice little rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the colors in this. It's got some red, which is, of course, feldspar, and then the green is epidote, but it's not real bright. A little basalt. That's a nice little conglomo rock. Mm -hmm. Just colorful. Nice. Oh, look at this. It's got little layers in it, kind of. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Jeez, that almost looks like a ring waiting to be made. Look at that. Look at it divide itself from this basalt. That's crazy. I like it. What else is down here? I thought I saw something interesting down here. Yeah, what's this? Oh, I'm not sure what that is. That that could be slag, actually. Huh. Well, there's all sorts of things on this shoreline you're going to enjoy looking at. Well, this is almost the end of the beach. Pretty much, you can go out in the water and probably go around the bend. Um, I won't, <laughs> not today, but um, I imagine you could. But yeah, this is about the end of our journey uh, down Pilgrim Haven, and it's been just beautiful. Beautiful rocks here. And we're gonna head back up to uh, Saugatuck Beach, or Douglas Beach, I think it's called. So. We've done Van Buren, check that video out, which is just south of here, and then there's Pilgrim Haven, and then of course Pier Cove, We've got a video on that out, so enjoy, there's great information on all of our videos, exactly where you're going to find it, what you're going to expect to find on every beach we can in Michigan. Thanks for watching. Look at all the rocks on this beach. It's loaded. <laughs>